share my screen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to just pull up a few of the documents that I think every new dispatcher should have when they onboard. I think I emailed them to you last night. Did yes. you get those? Okay. Yes. So those okay. are templates. Those are contract templates. You can edit them to meet mm -hmm. your business needs, you know, whatever roles and responsibilities you want, whatever you want to make sure you're getting paid for. You list mm -hmm. that on the agreement. Um, and then there's a, a couple other, I'm just trying to pull the documents up before I share my screen. Mm -hmm. But okay. your your um your partner he he's not a driver himself though right do you know of any are there any over there in Alaska like that have you no. ever seen it's dangerous I know <laughs> no so do you have to dispatch in the state you live or no you... no 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 I was just wondering like do do they have a lot of truck stops in Alaska not really huh like mm, not really yeah they do have a few you know. Yeah, a few. I watch like the shows on TV when they go through like extreme weather, or mm -hmm. when they go through like mountains. That stuff mm -hmm. could be yeah, really dangerous. I could yeah, I could never. But whoever we find, right, we want to make sure that they're experienced, they're knowledgeable, they got years in the industry. Mm -hmm. They want to go over the road. They want to go as far as possible. Okay. And I'll fix some of this. So these are all again templates. You can edit them. You can change the colors to mm -hmm. make this boldness. Um, but it mainly serves as like a guideline or a template to what you want to send the drivers whenever they first show interest in working with you. So do you have like a specific type of equipment that you want to work with? I uh, have no. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Like, would you be open? What if one equipment was harder to dispatch than the other? Would you be open to like box trucks or hot shots? Okay, which one, uh, you know, for the beginning, I can start with the, you know, the easiest one. Yeah, I know, I know, right? <laughs> like, I know. Um, box trucks, never mind, let me see. So, will I be yes, okay? If, uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. If you can send me the recording letter. Yeah, yes, okay? yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. The meeting is being recorded. It's so that way I can send it to you later. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Of course. So these are a bunch of different types. Let me see if it'll pull up. No. If I can make it, probably not. These are a bunch of different types of trucks, right? So the smaller ones, the the vans or the box truck, the minivan, those are those are in high demand for dispatchers because they always want to keep moving. They only, I believe the, the cargo van only uses regular gas. I think the box truck does too. Only the diesel engines, the bigger trucks mm -hmm. are the ones that use diesel. Okay. So it, it costs less to run these. So they'll keep running because it's more affordable, but they fit less things. The size is a lot different on the trailer versus the bigger trucks. Okay. And you want to make sure whoever you interact with, ask them, where do you want to go? Again, that's all the stuff on this carrier profile. They'll fill it out, but you just want to get like an idea before you send this to them. Okay. What states do you want to run? What equipment do you have? How long is it? Where? Uh, look where. What is your maximum payload? So the, the max weight that they can fit, right? Because the trucks are so much smaller, they can't hold as much weight physically. So they're limited. Okay. Um, especially like hot shots, so that that's like a, a dually truck in a flatbed, kind of okay. like this one, yeah. So this is a, a, a called a hot shot setup. Sometimes these can be forty feet. Sometimes it's, these can be twenty. I can't tell just by looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, but they always want to stay over the road. But that's the difference uh, between CDL and non CDL is the weight, is the weight of the the load that they're carrying. Are they working with the dispatcher now? What are their operating hours, right? When do they want to be on the road? Um, the name of their business, their address, their contact information, their email. If they do travel to Canada, a few I've only met a few that have. Their business name, their business address, contact information, their business EIN. And then down here, it says payment terms. It says your brokerage, but this is just referring to any brokerage, really. So, so, if you, go ahead. so what about for the beginning you don't have the EIN number do you do you have to have that before you started 
the driver, not you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, the, uh, the driver. Okay. Mm -hmm. The driver is filling out all of this. Okay. You don't feel you 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 send this to them to fill out so that way you know mm -hmm. you know if you can help them. Because once they fill oh. this out, and then um and you can add on here, um, you know how many how many days they want to work out the week or if they're working with another dispatcher, right? It's, that's what it says right here. Are you working with anybody else? Because sometimes they might just say, hey, I need a one load recovery or I'm stuck somewhere. Can you get me out? And if someone just wants you to work with them or dispatch one time, charge a flat fee. So you say, yeah, I'll do it for $150, $200. Okay. But if they want to work for a long time or continuous, charge a percentage. I would start at 8% because you can start at 10 Okay. The payment terms down here is for when the driver gets paid, once they deliver. So they can write this information down or they can send you a voided check. Either one works. Um, if they, And this is usually only if they're not signed up with a factoring company. So whenever a load gets picked up or scheduled to be delivered somewhere, right? And that could be anything, a boat, a car, those pipes, when any truckload is scheduled to be picked up and delivered somewhere, nine times out of 10, it's with the help of a broker. So the, the broker is the person who's posting the freight on the load board. Mm -hmm. That's DAT, truck stop, one, two, three, flat loads. And they'll, they can pay the driver within 30 days. That's like net 30. They can do an advance payment sometimes of up to half of the load of amount, right? Whatever the load was worth, but they charge 5%. That's high. 5% is very high. Mm -hmm. So that's why drivers have factoring companies. Okay. Are you familiar with like putting things on credit? No. <laughs> no. It's okay. Okay. So um, brokers, brokers have different rates, different fees. But anytime you see any of this, you won't need this if your driver is signed on with the factory company. I don't know what's making that noise. Is, that, is it this one? I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> I don't want to close everything. I have no idea what that is. Okay. I don't want to close everything and then end the live. Um, but the brokers, where are we right here? The the brokers are the ones that are paying the driver after the load is delivered. Okay. So they could pay the driver in 30 days, like just send a, a check to their address. So then you don't need this. But then they have to wait 30 days. 30 days is a long time to wait. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. 30, 30 days is a long time to wait. I'm just gonna close all the all the other ones. It has to be on one of these other screens. Um because I don't want that, that that's distracting. I'm so sorry, Sabrina. Hold on one second. No problem. Where's it coming from? Look. Should I just close everything? Where's that coming from? Look. <laughs> It's so strange. I'm so sorry. This one. That's that's on my end, right? I'm sorry. Say it again. That's that's coming. That beeping was my screen, right? It's over. Look, it stopped. It's, <laughs> it's off. I no. think. So. Oh, yes. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't have. Uh, let me see. I don't have nothing. Yeah. Look, and I'll stop my. Yeah, I'll close to... everything, yeah. I don't know what that is. That's so strange. I keep hearing it. Look, what is that? Oh my I gosh. Close, close everything, too. Let me see. Um, I'm so sorry about this. Look, and we could be on for a longer now or later because of this. That's fine. If needed, I just want to make sure I turn it off. Okay, that should have worked. <laughs> that should have worked. So yeah, I'm gonna keep sharing my screen. Um, but the brokers are the ones that pay the truck drivers. 
Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that pay the truck drivers. And they can either wait 30 days after the load is delivered, right? They'll get a check in the mail. So then you don't need their bank information or they can ask for an advance, but the, their broker is going to charge the carrier for this. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Because of this, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> That look. Disable all sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I thought I closed it. Um. But yeah, the the broker what they off, also offer advances or quick pay. But this is this is the same thing that a factoring company does. So they'll forward like ninety five to ninety nine percent of the load amount, and they'll charge only like one to two to three percent within like 24 hours. All factoring companies charge different rates and it depends on the credit of uh, the driver and the broker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you ever see a load that's posted on the load board that says COD, that means cash on delivery. So you don't have to worry about any of this. Okay. If it says COD, it, usually in the notes or in the email. Um, the next document I sent you was a company profile for you. So this is for you to, to again send to the drivers because you want to make sure you know all of their information before you move forward working with them if they're not willing to tell you this it's not worth it it's going to be too much work like this is the bare minimum and even on here it says pay by credit card this is so you can bill them you can charge them okay give me one second i'm sorry i had a driver text me because um, I dispatch four trucks. Okay. And it's just um, confusing sometimes when you switch. Okay. Um, you'll need their insurance uh, information and then the factoring company. That's the same thing I was referring to, the payment right on the profile. So this is again, your dispatch company profile, you're sending this to the driver to fill out. You don't have to fill this in. They have to initial at the bottom. So that way we know that they're, they're saying, telling the truth, right? They're being truthful. So this is the trucking company name, address, phone number, and then the company credit card number, the billing address, the numbers on the back, their insurance agents information, Who's their, who's their, who covers their commercial coverage? Progressive, all states. And then if they're signed up with a factoring company, right? They'll give you all this information because they need help getting out of whatever area that they're stuck in. The carrier agreement is what goes over all the roles and responsibilities that you have, right? That you have as a dispatcher. You can go in and change this or any of the wording at any, any time. Okay. Yeah. Do you have do you have any questions? Like, am I going too fast? No, that's fine. You're good. Okay. Um, <laughs> like I have to. I'm adding too much to do this. Um, so you want to make sure you put either your dispatch company because did you tell me you have an LLC already, huh? Uh, yeah, I have an LLC, but not for for dispatching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I remember us talking about it a little bit. Yeah. Um, so you can put either your company name or your your personal name, like your full name, as a consultant, as a contractor, whichever. So you're like, a, like a, if I want, I can just I can get a another LLC because of the 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 EI number I have, it's enough for dispatching. Or can you use one? What was it? What was it for? What was the name of the business? Here. It's for hair, so for hair. Uh, I think yeah, I I think it's that one is just for hair. I can use it for, but I have to, I have to ask the people who register my business. Who did that? Who did that for you? Zen business. Okay. So, um. Yeah. So you could do a DBA. A DBA. So that stands for doing business as. Okay. And that means like um like your your 
operating your business under two different activities. Okay. And you could do that. You okay. could do that. Um, yeah. You could do that. Let me, I'm going to look into that in Alaska. Mm -hmm. So by our next meeting, I'll have an answer. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Or if I don't have an answer, because um, I don't want you to go to Zendesk and then they charge you because they shouldn't. The only thing you may have to pay is like the fees, but it's different from state to state. Okay. Like, like did Zendesk give you a secretary of state login? Did they give you a login? Yes. Okay, good, good. Um, okay. So yeah, you should be able to log to log in with that username and password and do it, but I'll look into it just in case. Yeah, because uh, I think it, they, they want me to pay extra if I want to add another business to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will definitely look into it. They're expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And then I also have, um, so I have other students that have sent me theirs like that mm -hmm. they've created. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just like crop out the name or like the logo and then you just see the name mm -hmm. or like the, not the name, the um, the text, like I'll black it out. Okay. So yeah, you can have another example if you want one, but you wanna make sure you pick the state, like um, what's your Alaska state service? Um, 7.5%. Go ahead. What you said? Uh, so the the task. Okay, no, that's fine. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. What was <laughs> no, I was going to say it's uh it's a, a task free state, but that's. Mm -hmm. So you could you could put your percentage anywhere between this and this is basically what it's saying. Okay. Um, but whatever you put, you're, you're not going to put on the, whatever you decide for your tax rate, you're not going to put right here. You're just going to put the state. So you put Alaska, AK. Okay. And then when you invoice them, whatever you charge them, you could pick whatever rate. You should be able to, like I said, I'll look into the uh, DBA and that, but they don't have a state rate. A lot of states have actual rates, I think, mm -hmm. like each one. So I don't know, but that's nice. At least you have a range. You have a range. And then in here too, like you can ask the drivers, do you have a load board account already? You know, are you are you already paying for a load board? Are you comfortable with sharing your username and password with me? Mm -hmm. I promise I won't use it for anything else. Um, I'll even make an email address for you that we can share. You know, just tell them things like that. And then at the end, you want to make sure you sign it and you date it. And then the driver does too. I'll send you a few examples of some other students and I'll just like black out, uh, crop out the information just so you can get the wording. Okay. And the logo, but yeah, th there's a lot, there's a lot of different types. Yeah, it really just depends. Cause some people like on obligations, it's kind of like roles and responsibilities. I had one student call me, he said he wants to do back office. So that's like payroll, compliance, accounting, you know, a mm -hmm. bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. And he ended up charging, I think, like 15%. So if you do more work, make sure you're getting paid to do it. But make sure you know how to do it too, right? You don't want to you don't want to mess with a small business because eight, eight out of ten trucking companies go out of business. So you want to, you know, be the reason why small businesses in the U.S., especially like fleets or owner operators, that that they're striving, that they're striving. And then that's what uh, another reason you want to make sure you have this power of attorney. So it's normally signed by a brokerage because or included in a carrier packet because it covers a lot of uh, legal liability. So, for example, if you find a load, but you need to book like an oversized permit or over width or over height, over weight, you want to make sure that you have the legal freedom to sign those documents. Now, you may not be signing your name on those things. You may be signing your business name. Okay. Which is what I do a lot of the times too. I'll sign the business name on documents. Um, so you'll just change instead of your freight brokerage, it'll be your dispatch company. And then this is where you would put, like you said, that virtual or that PO box address. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is your is your hair one 
of a home base? Yes, that's why I want to get them. Um, that's why. Okay, yeah, I'll look yeah, into it. When I want to get an address, the virtual address. Yeah. I'll I'm trying to build a business credit. I'll see if you can do a virtual with the DBA. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the contracts. We, I'll keep going if you want me to, but if, you, if there's anything you want to ask me about this particular, let me know. Mm -hmm. No. No? 